Hey guys, how you doing? Um, this is our last home free song of the day. Um, it is Hilly Bone. It has been requested by many of you. Let me see if I can find a name in here. Okay, we've got Jill Livingston. Jill Livingston. And I'm sorry, if I continue to call you guys home freeers, it's because that's just kind of what I do. I have my night wishers, I have my home freeers. I know you guys call yourself home fries. Um, I may get to that point, but it, please don't roast me if I don't call you home fries and I call you home freeers. It's, I don't know why, just what I do. But um, Jill Livingston and all that come with you in the wanting of this song. We are doing it right now. Let's get it. Come on, y'all. Na 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 South of Queens. Never been south but of Queens. he flew down here on a business trip. I took him honky tonkin' and that was it. He took to it like a pig to mud, like a cow to cud. Y'all don't got a hill, Billy Bone, down deep inside. No matter where you're from, you just can't hide it when the band starts banging and the fiddle sauce. You can't help but holler in. Queens, man, you gotta admit that it's in them jeans. Ain't nothing wrong, just getting on your hip, Billy Bone, ba bone, ba bone, bone. Na -na -na. Fifty and a thirty out six, or have a bubba in the family tree to get on down with me. Yeah, bubba, all you need is an open mind. If it fires you up, you gotta let it shine. When it feels so right that it can't be wrong, come on, come on, come on, you ain't alone. Y'all don't got a hill, Billy Bone, down deep inside. No Starts banging and the fiddle sauce. You can't help but holler in when you see them pretty little country queens. Man, you gotta admit that it's in them jeans. Ain't nothing wrong, just getting on. Awesome. I love that song. Um, I actually love, I love Blake Shelton, but um, that was cool. I love that video. I love how they dressed. I wondered if he just, they just looked at him and said, 
you look like the geekiest info in the group. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to do you. <laughs> I wonder if you even had a choice in the matter. But that was so funny. And it's so true, which is just like... Um, <laughs> okay, I've now lived in upstate New York for... Let's see, when did I get stationed here? In 04. So, oh my God. Am I going on 15 years this year? Has it really been that long? God, it's flown by. And I only meant to be here for three. Really, seriously, I didn't want to be here at all. I was on orders to Hawaii, and my ex-husband got my orders changed to upstate New York. And I was like, and he had never lived anywhere where there had been snow before. Let me make that very clear. And I grew up in the Northeast, where there had been plenty of snow. So, um, I never planned to live where there was ever snow ever again. <laughs> but yeah, I have met people here in upstate New York. I live about an hour from Syracuse. And um, who have lived here their entire lives. Their family have, has lived there their entire lives. I mean, they go generations back. Um, my, my best friend is one of them who have never even been to the city. They've never even been to New York City. And they never plan on it. They have no desire to ever go south of where they are. Never even desire to go to New York City. Even before I moved to this state, do you know how many times I had been to New York City? At least five times, if not more than that. Um, not to mention the fact that I've lived in over 22 states or more, and, um, I've lived all over the world. I mean, you guys know, I, I mean, I've told you this time and time again, I lived in Europe for almost a decade. So yeah, I, I'm not retiring here. Are you kidding me? I live right off of Lake Ontario and I get Lake Effect snow, which means at least 15 to 20 feet of snow every winter. And our winters are 10 months long. There's no way I'm going to retire here. But anyway, it's, I mean, it's nice up here. It's nice people and everything, but he's right. These people do not go anywhere. They do not. They don't go anywhere. They don't, I mean, they do know who Conway Twitty is. There's a lot of country listeners up here, more than you would think. Most of them listen to old country, like bluegrass, Loretta Lynn stuff, stuff I don't listen to. But, um... Nas there, yeah, there's probably more conservative NASCAR country listening people up here than there is um, anywhere I've ever lived. And I've lived in the South. So, um, yeah, strange. But I love that song. That was hysterical video. That w I think that was the one you guys were telling me they had all their wives in, right? So was that all their wives? That's cool. <laughs> he was holding that chicken. I love the video. I love the song. I love their take on the song. I love who they chose to. <laughs> but please do not display Northerners like that. We do not look like that. We are so much cooler and have so much more style when it comes to the way we dress. We do not dress that way. We do not show up like that. No. Give us more credit. Especially since he said he was from New York. If you got someone coming from New York, you know that dude's going to have some style. He's not going to be showing up like that. You shame him. <laughs> you just did that to shame him. That was bad. At any rate, that was awesome. That was a great way to end the day. Um... And as you can see, I'm getting more and more flush as the day goes on, which means my fever is getting higher and higher. And I really need to go put my butt in bed. <laughs> so I'm going to go. You guys have a fantastic day and weekend. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Um, yeah. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And what else? Damn straight. Take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.